the start, but you ended up playing a pretty significant amount of snaps in there. How important was that experience in particular for you going into this offseason? Um, you know, it was just a surreal feeling being able to play in the national championship game. Like, that's just like a huge dream that any kid that plays on a college level dream for. So it was, I know like I didn't play as much or I didn't start, but I felt like I've gotten better over the past seasons that I've been here, preparing myself and just, you know, being able to step up when my name was called. Yeah, bro, to that, to that point, I guess I feel like I've asked this question before, five, five-star guys that came here and everybody just ex expects all these fireworks when you show up on campus, there's a process. I mean, how do you adjust to that when your identity has been as a superstar basketball or football and suddenly you're just in a pack, not even playing? I mean, how, how do you adjust to that? Um, it is a big change, but it's nothing that can't be done. Like, you can't expect always to just go in and do what you're usually used to doing. Like you have to change, like life is about changes. So if you're not able to make changes in your life, you won't be able to succeed. So I knew coming in that I was gonna be pushed to work harder and better myself as a player. So I just came in with that, that type of mindset. Roger, um, when asked about leadership, Kirby Smart mentioned you and I was just wondering uh, how you were emerging as a leader in your like offensive line group, whatever you love, leading vocally by example, and who else you see out there as being a leader? Um, leading, like, as a team, I believe anybody on the team can be a leader. Like, because the standard that Kirby Smart sets for the team and the standard, like, everybody has within the team is being able to push one another to better themselves, for the team. So as a team, I feel like anybody on the team can be a vocal, spiritual, however you want to put it. Like anybody can be a leader. Like it, it's not like a one specific person that you select to be a leader. Like it's it's a whole team collective to do it. If I, if I answer your question. Hey, Roger. Good to see you today. Uh, obviously, you play a very key, you know, position, you know, on the offensive line. But, but knowing you're, you're following guys like Andrew Thomas, Lamar Sawyer, now Robbie Jones, you know, theoretically going to be the guy next year. Kind of how does that make you feel? And does that put any extra pressure on you to follow what those guys did? Uh, I wouldn't say it puts pressure on me, but I would want to hold, withhold the standard. So I just continue to push myself and, you know, be the best player I can be every day. You talked earlier about playing the national title game, and you also got some starts along the way. Just what did you learn from that playing experience that you thought can help you this year? Composure was probably the biggest thing for me. You know, just being able to sit back, you know, soak up <laughs> what Jamari left behind, you know, like listening to what he's doing, like asking him, like, how can I do this better? Or what should I do if this happens? You know, just sitting back and learning from, you know, somebody that has done it before me and will, is a great player. So I just would say me being able to sit back and not try to rush things and be able to take coaching and be accountable for like my actions. So like in practice, you would want to push yourself. You wouldn't want to like slack off. Like you don't want to push yourself because everybody else is pushing. So that's the only way you can get better. Broderick talking about the Natty. Uh, you yeah, know, it's a crazy night even for us in the press box. We're following everything, and it was for me. It was like, well, Broderick Jones is in there at left tackle, and it seemed like a lot of things were happening and going well for Georgia at that time. Can you kind of retell the story of that scenario where where you ended up getting? told, hey, we need you to go in there and why and what your sort of task was. Was it second quarter? I think it was like late second quarter when I was called in. And I would just say, 
like I answered the question earlier, it was just a huge moment for me to be able to play in the national championship. You know, I was a little nervous, but who wouldn't be? It's a, a, a huge game. It's like, it's, it's spotlights on, like, it's nothing else. Like, it's the last game, all the marbles on the line, you know, you have to do what you have to do. So when my name was called, I was, you know, I was excited, but you know, once everybody, you know, Jamari, you got people like Jamari, Shafe, Stetson, you know, Coach Monk, Coach Kirby, you know, they talking, you know, you listening, but it's like, you gotta get in there and do it. So at the end of the day, you know, I wouldn't say I was nervous, but not to the extent where I couldn't perform at my best level. So I would just put it in conclusion like that, like, if I answer. Well, what's it like being around uh, Xavier Trust and Devin Luck? Well, a couple guys from the Northeast, uh, you're obviously a really good guy. Do you have any characteristics that might come Yeah, great guys, both of them. Devin's actually my roommate. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're both great guys, though, you know. They work hard, keep their head down, you know, continue to push, weight room, team runs, you know, through it all. It's just it's just always a grind. So those are good guys. Those are some good guys. Yeah. Right, um Asking you again to reflect back your first. Sorry, we don't get to talk to you when you're a freshman. So your two-year-old question. Yeah. It's not like we got to wait to talk to you here. Do uh, you remember when you came in? Any of the ends, rush ends, guys mm -hmm. you went against, pass drills, you kind of look back and laugh on it now. I mean, were those guys that dynamic, powerful, that even you with the star rating had trouble coming in blocking them in those one-on-ones? And what are your what, what players were pretty dominant early that you recall? All of them. <laughs> coming in, like coming in, you know, like like you said, a five star recruit, you know, big head. I got humbled real fast, <laughs> like, going against people like Aziz and Jermaine and Nolan Smith. It's just like, but you learn, like you learn to be able to just sit back and watch the people ahead of you and watch what they're able to do and their success and just try and recreate that with taking coaching and being able to be coached and taking what the coach is telling you to do and not try and do whatever you want to do on your own. Yeah, uh, Broderick, I got two questions. One, what's the grocery bill look like with you and Devin Willick living together? Um, and, and two, just the, the amount you played last year in the national championship games leading up to it. How much has that helped your confidence, you know, at this point this year compared to last year? Okay, first question. <laughs> we have a eighty million dollar facility, as coach would say. So, you know, it's not it's 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 not that bad, you know. Bones, we have a new restaurant, great restaurant, we have great nutrition staff and you know, I love them dearly and they get they get their job done. And um what was the second question sorry? Just the amount you played last year, how much has that you know, help you gain confidence, you know, compared to at this point last year? Well, me, personally, I was never not confident in my game. Like, that's not like trying to be too dickheaded or anything, but that, I just always had the mindset of, if you go in prepared, like, you'll be okay. So, I just try to keep my head down, continue to work, continue to better myself in places that I need, like areas that I need to grow in, and just go. Okay, we have time for two more questions. Roger, from uh, Coach Pittman to Coach Luke to now Coach Searles, anything that has stuck with you from your previous coaches, and how does Coach Searles uh, separate himself from what you've learned from those guys? Um, from all the coaches, love them dearly. I would just say, like, all of them instill in me to just continue to work. Like, no matter what, always keep your head down and work. All three of them, great guys. Like as long as you're working, you'll be all right. No matter who, who's coaching, no matter who's playing, as long as you keep your head down, work, and you're able to be coached, you'll be okay. Roderick, when you look to this spring, what do you want to improve? What do you want to get better in your game? Um, I would just say probably being more physical. You know, like like this is it's grown man football. So I would just probably say being more physical on the ball. Okay, that's going to be all of Broderick.